This ulcer open how long now? Oh, it's been two years and a month. Now. Two years and a month. Wow, that's a long time, right? Okay, we have uh, Daniel here. Hi. Hello, how are how you doing? doing? Good, good. So Daniel's doing really well. Let me show you the ulcer that we're treating with. Uh, he's got a nice shoes and the, you wear the brace too, right? Yes. Once in a while, yeah. But you can see this is a lot better, a lot smaller than before. But what we're gonna do now is uh, finally have the oxygen uh, therapy working. So I'm gonna start putting him in the oxygen tank once a week, uh, starting next week. And hopefully it'll shrink down really quickly. And we'll show you the whole progress as we as we go along here. So we're just gonna clean up uh, some calluses here first. You see a few of these here. He had another ulcer here, which is completely closed now. That, was, that looks really good, Daniel. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I cool. don't even use your brace anymore. Oh, okay. Me. I put uh, a gauze around yeah. it, and that's all. all. Right. This is completely closed. It was open last time, even. So he's doing really well. Very happy for you, Daniel. You're doing great. I'm glad to see you. Yes, yes. So we want to document all his progress now because you've had this ulcer open how long now? Oh, it's been two years and a month. Now. Two years and a month. Wow, that's a long time, right? So I just started seeing him a few months ago, so he's made a remarkable progress now. But now we want to move it closer, faster, and close it. So wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, so now, because we, we don't want something open too long, obviously, so we really want to make sure that that happens. But this one's already closed, even before the oxygen treatment. I'm just going to get rid of some of these calces because I don't want any ulcers opening up on these things, right? <laughs> yeah. So before you came see me, so what, what kind of treatments were you getting? Were you getting it all cleaned up like, like I'm, I'm doing now? or? Um, not really, but uh, he did debride my... Um ulcer uh -huh. um, and I think that it was uh, not as good as you. <laughs> oh really? You because mean he didn't it, clean it up that much? It or? hurt so bad after the debriding. That, oh is that right? Yeah. So he hurt you basically? <laughs> uh, I, yeah, kind of every, every couple of weeks or month or so. Uh -huh. Well I try not to hurt you. No, you did a real good job. You did yeah. an Oh thank you. <laughs> so I try to obviously I have to I have to make it bleed though for the. I could barely walk sometimes after that. It was. Oh, is that right? It was terrible, huh? Even the next day was painful. Oh yeah, yeah. No, but you've done really well the last few months. The ulcer's really closed down a lot. It's a lot smaller, but with the, hopefully with the uh, oxygen treatment, it's going to go even faster. So I'm taking care of these calluses first because if you can see this little blood in there there's a lot of blood blisters because of the cows kind of makes some of the area kind of bleed because these are not good and obviously this can get weaker and kind of break open and then it can have another ulcer so we, we need to keep these calluses really under control and so that's why we're doing this every time i see him so that's what's happening here okay so that's looking good now here's another little Corn here, I need to make sure that it's not going to be a problem. And then there's another one here. As you can see, these, these can open up as well, so we have to make sure that these calluses are really well cleaned up so that it's not going to cause any problems. So. But so far, everything's looking good on this side, nothing's open. And uh, are you still busy running around? Oh yes, I. You doing your work? I do about twenty hours a week. About twenty hours a week, yeah. I work and uh, taking care of people in their houses. Right, right. You're still visiting them, right? Yeah. Any of them got sick with this COVID or? No, not yet. But as a matter of fact, the main office called to see if I would object to working with one. Uh huh. And I don't know what to say. I think I'll say no. Already? Until I get a vaccine because... Uh, oh, new person? New new patient? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm 68. I got diabetes. And, uh, oh, yeah. I don't know if that's a good combination. Yeah, you don't want to be exposed, right? Yeah, especially going to different places, huh? All right. Yeah. 
I hate to even go to the grocery store, really. But. Really? <laughs> well, but you gotta go, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I work, I work for a couple older gentlemen that they order everything by Amazon, everything. Right, literally everything, right? Yeah. He gets yeah. every day, food and uh -huh, Okay, we got a little bit more here. I'm just gonna clean it up. And then it's good, we kept it down. That's good, and now we're gonna come here. We don't want this kind of opening up here either. As you can see, it's a similar location, so we have to keep this down and make sure that this doesn't open up. So you're doing most of your all your cooking and everything now? Oh, I you can, you make can. the cook. And, oh, is that right? Oh, I, I clean up. Oh, you clean up? Yeah. That's a good trade-off. I hope so. Yeah. I'm not much a cook, so my wife cooks and then... I'm just not interested in cooking, I guess. Oh, really? Me neither. I'm interested in eating. Yeah. That's about it. And then my, my wife doesn't trust me to do the dishes, so... I, I guess what? I don't even do, get to do the dishes. I, I, I keep offering her and I'm smart enough to keep messing up the messing up the dishwashing so she won't let me do it, you see? Okay, so I'm just gonna clean up. There's some calluses built up here. So we're gonna try to clean as much as possible here. Your ulcers look really clean, actually. It looks great. Well, I dress them at least twice a day, sometimes three times a day. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. My foot gets hot in the shoes and the boot, and uh, uh -huh. it gets uh, wet, and I, that's when it starts to hurt a little bit. Uh -huh. Oh, you're doing a great job. It looks really clean, actually. You've done all the work for me already. I don't have a whole lot to do, actually. I just need to make it bleed a little bit. I'm moving the chair up a little bit. So it's easy for me to work on. And it looks really clean right now, but I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more around the area. So the dead tissues around it. Just gonna clean it. Yeah, you're doing a great job. It looks really clean and it's really closing nicely. So good job of taking care of it. So you you, you rebandage like three times a day? Uh, if I have to, uh, uh -huh. usually it's twice. Uh -huh. Is there some drainage coming out? Like Yes, there's always a little uh, drainage. I see, uh-huh. Okay, yeah, that looks great. So I'm just gonna clean up a little bit around it. And then it's already bleeding nicely there, so I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit more. So I'm just gonna clean the edges, make it bleed a little bit more. As you can see, it's bleeding more now. But it's looking a lot better, and I'm very excited to see this close very quickly with the oxygen treatment. That's what usually happens. So I'll be very excited to see this close very quickly. So. I'm making this edges bleed so that it would close down quickly. And so that's what we should be doing. So, okay, very nice. As you can see, it's bleeding very nicely. Okay, so we're gonna schedule you next week to start the um, oxygen treatment. All right. Okay, and then Hopefully we'll start seeing the progress really quickly. Huh? I'm just gonna cover this up. Okay, Daniel, thanks Hello. for allowing us to film you today, okay? Uh -huh. We'll see you in a few weeks and let's see how quickly it closes. All right. Very good.